Hello everyone, welcome back. Geophilgus Fishkeeping here. For those of you who have seen some of my earlier videos, you'll know that just a few days ago, my brand new Stingray Aquarium has arrived. So in this video, I'm gonna talk you through it. Early on Sunday morning, I woke up like a kid at Christmas and I was really, really super excited about my new aquarium arriving. The plan for the day was that it would arrive, it'd be installed, it'd be filled with water, and maybe one or two fish straight in it, seeing as though I've been cycling the, the media already. That hasn't gone to plan, as you can see, it is empty, there's no water in here, apart from a little bit right at the bottom, okay? But it is installed, let me fill you in what happened. Okay, so first things first, the tank itself was actually being couriered here, um, it wasn't being uh, fitted by the, the builders, I, I decided that it would get it courier shipped to me and then I would do the installation. So it arrived about 4 p.m. in the afternoon, which meant I didn't have loads of time to get it all done and dusted and ready. However, what we did is we, we built the stand. It came already pre-drilled and all ready to go. It just needed putting together. It came with this, the screws and all that. It is just a wooden stand. And then we got the sump in place and the main aquarium itself on top of the stand. Then all that was left to do was the plumbing. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, this is the very first time I've had a sump. I've had tanks for years and years and years, but I've always used either internal filters or external filters, canister filters and what have you. So it's the very first sump that I've had. Let me talk you through the tank and its dimensions. Okay, so the aquarium itself is a four foot by four foot aquarium, four foot front to back, four foot left to right, and it is 18 inches, which is about a foot and a half tall, giving me a footprint of 16 square feet. As I said, I decided to go with this aquarium suitable for my stingrays. Now in an ideal world, you know, a couple of stingrays in here, adult size may be okay, but really you want a bit more length, but four foot is perfect in terms of depth. But for the time being, particularly two rays in here, three, four maximum, we should do okay. It's got Euro style bracing all the way around the top. And then it's got bracing in the middle with these crossbars here. Okay. I decided to go with a black background just so we don't have to worry about the wall or anything that's being seen through there. And you know, in the future I might have it more in a corner, but I didn't didn't want to restrict myself by having two walls painted black because I wanted to have that viewing panel all the way around so both sides can be seen through as well as the front. Also in the back here we've got a weir, so what will happen is, is the water level rises, the water will seep through these teeth in the weir here, and that will, and as it falls into the weir, it will help add filtration, sorry, help add uh, aeration and oxygen to the water. It's also a good way to um, skim off the top of the water in terms of those protein, protein films you can get through feeding and what have you. Inside the weir is all my plumbing, so this here is my output so what will happen is is the pump um, the water will be pumped from the sump back through here and it will exit at this end and at the other end over there and then i have two drainage pipes this is my overflow here my main overflow and then an emergency overflow over here so what we need there is if for whatever reason if there's a blockage anywhere the water in the sump could be continue to be pumped in, although it's not draining out. And as the water reaches the level of this pipe, it can then drain through there, as opposed to depending on just this pipe here, this overflow here. So you've got the emergency overflow and an overflow, and then the T-barred output. As the water overflows, it falls into the weir, as I've said, and then as it fills up in the weir, that's when it'll be overflow, use the overflow pipe to go down into the sump. So what happens when it goes down underneath? So here's the sump itself. This sump is a three foot left to right, two foot front to back sump. And we've got these four panels here at various levels. These are known as baffles. The total water volume of this system is round about 900 to 950 litres. This pipe on the left here, this big one, is um, the overflow pipe. So the water that overflows from the weir will come down into here, through here, and exit through this pipe here. It's not set up as I said, I will show you obviously when it is set up. This pipe will have um, a filter sock on it, and the water will go into this 
area here. This area will be filled with padding and sponges and foams and what have you. And then what will happen is the water will go through all the all the pads and the foam. And that's your mechanical filtration that will happen there. What will happen then is it will come through under here and it will come over, fill up between these two baffles and over the top. This is the main area where I'll be doing my biological filtration. I have lava rock like this in here. I have plenty of that in bags already ready to go that's been cycling. Plus I'll ha I have other filter that is currently in canister filters and what have you. Other media, sorry, that's already in, already in canister filters that will also go into there and in, with time I'll add to it. So it'll cycle through all the media that is in this main section here and eventually pass under this baffle. Pass under this baffle, fill up between these two baffles here and overflow into this main area. Once in this main area, the pump will then send back through this clear piping all the way back into that middle pipe in there where it will then come out back into the tan tank with the T-bar output. This pipe on the right hand side, this is my emergency overflow, so this will only be used in an emergency when the water level is rising and it isn't being drained through the main overflow pipe. So this is my brand new aquarium, there it is, I've shown it here, I've shown you how it works, shown you the piping, shown you the sump, the plan for it now is obviously to fill it, but before I do that the reason it's not filled is I was having some problems fitting the plumbing, um, as I've said this is my very first sump, in terms of this and part of the reason for the channel is to show how easy areas of the hobby is to newcomers and you know, you see it looks so easy and it just goes together and hey presto, but you know, it is a bit fiddly in terms of getting the pipes lined up. I know it does work without leaking. The builders um, did test it before shipping it to me. So it does work, it's all up and running. However, me, me deciding that, you know, I was gonna put it together, I have had a couple of issues with getting it absolutely drip free. Now you need it drip free, so I've got a plan to fix that. I know how to fix that now. So that's my next operation once it is fixed. I'll start filling it up and get it all up and running. I do intend to obviously have lighting on here, going across the middle probably. And I will obviously have some wave makers in here to keep that water agitation, which I've spoken about in previous videos. In terms of stocking this aquarium, once it all is all up and running, I am gonna stock it with my, my Florida guards, which will go in here. And the main reason for it is my, for my stingrays. So my two big stingrays, this is the reason, <laughs> they are the reason that I have this and they will be going in this main aquarium. The plan long term is hopefully, potentially, they are a pair and they do um, meet, uh, mate, sorry, so hopefully in the long run they do mate and we do get some pups, that's fingers crossed. You know, it's just, in my opinion, it's just be a better home for them, it's got the bigger footprint, the bigger surface area along the base of the aquarium and hopefully they'll be happier within this aquarium. I'm not saying they're unhappy now, but they will be happier. And I'll add to my collection as time goes by. I'm also thinking of putting my collection of silver dollars in here. I've got some striped tiger dollars. I've got some, a couple of spotted dollars. And I've got a couple of just standard silver dollars. The giant guarmi that I got in a previous video that you, that you would have seen. I'm thinking of putting that in here as well. But I'm going to have to monitor that and see how it goes. So yeah, if you've got any suggestions about what I should stock in here. Along with my stingrays. What are good tank mates. Potentially a couple of geos and what have you. That, that is something that I'm thinking about as well. Please let me know in the comment section below because I really want your ideas on stocking for this aquarium. As I say, primarily it's going to be for my stingrays and I don't want to overstock it. I don't want to overcrowd it or anything like that. But I do want to have some other fish in there other than just my stingrays. So I do apologise that this aquarium isn't up and running for this video. I do apologise that it's not stocked for this video. It hasn't even got water in for this video. But I promise you that will be coming. It is something to be looking forward to, I suppose, in the, in the coming weeks. Yeah, that's my new, brand new stingray aquarium. It didn't go as planned yesterday as I've already said, but I'm just mega pleased that it is here, mega excited to actually get it up and running and mega excited to get it stocked. So if you want to see how this aquarium progresses in terms of its stocking and getting it up and running, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe as well if you're not already. If you are, make sure you hit that bell notification button because I won't want you to miss out on any future updates on this aquarium, which will be coming in the near future. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Take care and see you again soon.